again, thanks for watching. It's Shelly with the Lemonade Store. And today I just wanted to kind of go over this peach that I made that I am going to use my Royal Talons Ecoline watercolor paints. And these are a liquid watercolor and I'm really loving them. I'm kind of obsessed actually. So we're going to start out with um, painting my peach and then lettering with the same uh, colors for watercolor. So starting out, I'm just kind of experimenting with watercolor. It's something I've really grown to love and I'm trying to really kind of understand it and work with it a lot. So you might be seeing a lot more watercolor uh, paintings and things from me. So I started out with like a light blue shadow and you can see that on the left side of the peach where I was just trying to give it some dimension and kind of stay focused on where I'm going to drop in some of my darker colors and with these Ecoline paints um, you can either use them full strength and they're pretty pretty vibrant or you can dilute them and since I don't have every single color of the set I just kind of mixed paints and maybe I can we can do that in another video where I show you which ones I kind of like to um, mix and I started out with um, just a nice soft orangey color and then I'm dropping in real slowly this darker orangey color because I want that to give it more dimension and seem like kind of more of a shadow of like what a peach would look like and um, I, I don't know you know I'm just trying to experiment and figure it all out just like you guys but I figure oh, I'm gonna show you so that maybe if I make a mistake you don't copy it but I'm really digging like how like I this one was not the wet and wet technique where I wet the paper first I'm really trying to do layers upon layers but I'm waiting for them to dry so like in between which is so hard for me by the way because I usually only have like 15 or 20 minutes to create something and like this one I did pretty early this morning um, before people started waking up in the house and you know needed to be fed and things like that so I let that dry completely because and it, it turned out pretty good I like the way it has like a really cool effect with it and I didn't use any kind of a heat tool or dryer to let it dry like I just let it dry and then I just kind of keep going on to the next part and I'll fast forward this a little bit so that it's not it's not too boring but I think the key with this one for it for me today was just to do a layer, let it dry, go back in, add a little bit more color, let it dry, and then really get like that definition. And I'm actually really proud of how this turned out because if you had asked me two years ago, hey, sketch a peach all by yourself and then watercolor it and still have it look like a peach, I would have been like, oh, sure, no problem, let me get right on that. So guys we're making progress and I'm using um, just a couple of basic brushes that I got I think I actually got these at um, Hobby Lobby they were on the clearance aisle and I think the brands called simply Simmons and I really like them they're just cheap synthetic brushes but they I feel like they paint fine for what I need to do so and I'm using Canson um, watercolor paper as well so just some basic supplies here nothing too crazy so here is the rest of my peach and then at the um, end of the peach I'm going to letter with these and I'll, I'll come back for that so that we can talk about what I, I love about these watercolors. Also I'm going to do a subscriber shout out at the end so stay tuned.
Okay, so I grabbed a clean piece of watercolor paper because I didn't want to mess up the peach that I just worked so hard on. And I'm, I'm just dropping in um, using the lighter color and then dropping in some of the darker color to still get the colors of the peach that I just did. But I love these, what, what I love about these watercolors, I think, is that, and I'll show you when I do the subscriber shout out, is you can kind of mix two colors that you think wouldn't work and they, they, they still blend well. Like you're gonna see like, if I did gray and pink, the pink will still show up. Like the gray doesn't overpower it completely. So it's, it's just, you can get some really cool effects with it. And so far I have not been disappointed. Every time I blend something, I have really loved it. So I'll finish lettering peach and then we'll get onto our subscriber shout out. Okay, so here we go. Let's pick a subscriber and we are going to do Megan. Okay, so this is what the Ecoline watercolors look like when you buy them. And I started using a number two brush when I first started doing this, but the paper I'm using is a little bit thicker. And I always keep a sponge with me when I'm doing my Ecoline paints because I do not like to contaminate um, my colors. So I will dip, since it's liquid watercolors, I'll dip it in water, then I dry it off on my brush real quick, and then I'll dip it in the watercolor, just like that, so that I get a good amount of pigment and I'm not, you know, getting a bunch of water inside my, my liquid jars. And the number two wasn't wasn't giving me enough water or holding enough watercolor for me, so I grabbed a number four, and that's when the magic happens, and it is going a lot better. But you can see um, when you start lettering with a darker color like gray, watch what happens when I dump in or drop in some of the bright pink. I mean, I, I really, I love, this is what I love about these colors. So I will let this play and you can kind of see how awesome, see, look at that. I mean, I kind of love it. Am I the only person who totally gets excited when things like this happen, when you're playing with paint and art supplies? Yay. Okay, so I'll keep this going and thanks you guys so much for wa uh, watching and I appreciate all your subscribes and if you like the video and you want to see more, please hit like. Oh, and before I forget, if you haven't gotten your name in the jar or in this case, it was a black bag, leave a comment below and I'll add you to the bag and hopefully we can get you on one of the next videos. Thanks you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.